Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Noodle, welcome. Hey, there we go. Uh, we should probably reload, huh? Because <laughs> I never, like, turned off the PlayStation after playing last time. So, like, it's, yeah, we were, we just explored a little bit when we ended last time. So, like, you know, we were just wasting time and stuff, seeing what was going on. So we should probably reload and get back to this. Um, but anyways, yeah, hello. We're going to play some more Pioneers All the Town because, I don't know, comfy games and stuff. Uh, tomorrow, though, we should be playing more... Dark Cloud 2? Dark Cloud 1. Dark Cloud. And I'm hoping to play more Dark Cloud just kind of in general. Uh, maybe like going back and forth between the two games, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see exactly what happens. No promises besides Dark Cloud tomorrow. Definitely gotta do that. But anyways, good morning to you, stream. Apologies for barging in on you so early, but there's something important I need to ask of you. Perhaps you might have noticed, but our fairer town's been getting livelier by the day. My hope is that if we can keep this up, we can develop our town into an even better place to live. Unfortunately, I can't do that alone. That's why I'd like to petition your aid as a citizen of Olive Town. I'd love to help. Yes, I already reloaded. <laughs> it's super quick to do so. Most excellent. You've got the same can-do spirit as your grandfather. It's wonderful to have the help of someone so reliable. Once we develop a town, we can open more shops, all of which I'm sure will be to your liking. Uh, we might be able to open more shops. I'm still in the planning phases, so nothing set in stone. But it should be financially feasible. In any case, our current plan is to beautify our roads a bit. The more aesthetically pleasing our town is, the more satisfaction tourists will get, and the satisfied tourists is bound to visit us again. Post some details about the project on the bulletin board in Olive Hall. Don't forget to give it a read when you've got the time. Yeah. I kind of already know about the requests and stuff, so... I should go oh, that's right! We got a house now! I forgot. Okay. Well, since it's raining today, we definitely shouldn't need... Sorry, I gotta, like, remember how to play and stuff. Um, okay, place and tool bag. Uh, we shouldn't need that at all, since we're, like, you know, raining so much out here. Uh, um, sorry, I was just looking at the volume levels. So much room for activities? What do you mean? Like, just, we have room? We have inventory space? We do. Uh, and we have some turnips. We can harvest our turnips, finally. I think it's like, oh, in our house. Yeah, no, we need to, like, decorate our house and stuff. Um, we should probably go buy some more seeds, I guess, huh? Hey, finally, it's telling us about this. Mysterious creatures. You might notice some odd little creatures hopping around on your farm while you're pioneering or working the farm. Maybe something good will happen if you find a lot of them. Okay, so it doesn't actually, like, tell us anything. We just need to keep finding them, I guess, and, like, hope for the best. 90, nice. Good job. Hi, squirrel. Bye, squirrel. Uh, chicken. Oh. We probably shouldn't let our chicken outside today because of the whole, it's like, you know, not nice outside. But they're going to need to eat food. <laughs> I, I imagine that's important to the little dudes. So, when we go into town, we might want to buy some fodder, I guess? I don't know what time things open, but probably not until like 8 or 9 o'clock. So we're going to chop down some trees in the meantime. Because we need wood. Because we're trying to fix this bridge. And we need planks, I think. To be able to do so. And we need logs to make planks. Now we could like... I wonder, like, do the little ones give us just as much wood? Or is it like a waste to... Okay, yeah, no. It doesn't give us as much. Um, all of them craft. So how much lumber do we have in total now? 13. I think we need, what, 15? So we have enough. We just need to wait. Yeah, we just need to wait for it to finish, like, growing. Or growing, crafting, whatever. We can, like, chop down some of this grass in the meantime, though. Get rid of it. It's all in the way. Ick. Can we, like, chop down the little trees like this? Ooh. We'll take that, though. I'm assuming, like, the axe could probably knock down the little trees, but I also kind of feel like we should just leave them for, you know, to grow into big trees. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what else I kind of want to do, though? Wait, did I not pick that up? Oh, we're probably out of inventory space, huh? We need to get, like, a backpack upgrade. And we're not fishing right now, so we can put this away. Um, I guess that's it. Pick that up. Then we can go sell some stuff to get some more room. What was I gonna say? Oh, I wanna, like, I wanna dig. I wanna hoe some more tiles. 
Um, because I want to... Is the sap even, like, worth anything? It's worth one. So, no. We're not gonna... We're not gonna do that. These were all to donate. I remember that much. Oregano. Moondrop flower. I feel like some people would probably like the moondrop flowers. And we'll keep, like, a turn up, too. To, like, maybe give somebody or something. I don't know. I feel like people would, like some homegrown turnips, right? Uh, and then we can hoe. So probably like one more spot over here. And then... Nope. Is it the hammer? Aha! Smash with the hammer. Why would you smash a tree instead of like cutting it down though? But anyways... Maybe we do like, do we do like a row over here instead? Cause I feel like coming over three, I don't know. It's just things aren't like centered well. Maybe we can move our well to have it nicely centered again. Cause I'm thinking like all the way down, this is all gonna be just plant area. It's kind of what I'm feeling. Here away. Now, can we put you, like, in between tiles by any chance? No. That's ick. Okay, well, you can go here, I guess. It's not centered, but it is what it is. And then we'll leave the rest of it. But we need to buy 18 more seeds. And donate our stuff. And buy some fodder. Fodder is important. Definitely need to get some fodder. Need to feed our little chicky boy before he, like, dies. Which I'm assuming we buy from here. What can I do for you? Buy livestock. Oh, no. Not buy livestock. Never mind. None of that. Do you sell fodder? Or do you just sell animals? Do you just sell animals? Does the general store sell fodder? Surely somebody sells fodder, right? Please tell me you sell fodder sell seeds and fodder seeds. Ah, good. Fodder. Okay. Um, we'll just buy, like, three for now. So we still need, like, money for normal stuff. Can we even buy nine of any seeds? No. That's kind of annoying. Um, <laughs> I guess we just wait until tomorrow. Uh, oh, you sell, like, stone and stuff, too, so we can just buy that stuff. That's cool, I guess. And furniture for the house. I'm assuming the furniture doesn't really do anything other than, you know, look nice. We can't sell stuff at all, can we? We can only sell stuff, it seems, by going to the... Or shipping it in the shipping container, which is fine, but it would be nice if we could just sell stuff, too. Grocer. We don't need groceries. That was handy works. What else can you do other than, like, our house? Farm facilities. Okay. Well, he can do a big coop, but sorry, flashing warning and stuff. Game is kind of broken. Um, buy farm facilities. Nothing. Just a well and a coop. So we must unlock the rest of it later. I need to, like... I don't know. I don't know if it's, like, because of my capture setup or what. I don't know why the game does that. Like, just freaks out on some screens. I need to just hook it, like, straight into my TV one of these days. And see... Oh, we've, we've checked you before. And see, like, if it still does that. I don't know, man. Olive Hall. Okay, what do they want from us? I'm guessing, like, materials? Yeah, logs 10, sap 5, stone 30, horse mackerel 1. Do we have any of this stuff? <laughs> I don't know if we do. Uh, logs, uh, sap probably, s logs probably, stone, I'm not sure, maybe. And then the other one was mackerel? I don't think... Have we even caught a mackerel yet? 
I'm not sure that we have. But, like, if we find one, I'll gladly donate it. Speaking of Hello. donations, here you go. Fish! Oh, okay. Apparently we have donated a sparkling fish before, which is good. That means we can sell it. Because sparkling fish are worth, like, a decent amount of money, so... There's probably, like, an aesthetically pleasing way to put these things in here, but, um... Nah. <laughs> I'm just gonna put them in here, and that's gonna that's gonna be good. No rhyme or reason, just fill her up, dude. Hello. Did we do we have any photos, or did we donate all of our photos? No, we do. We, never mind. I've already donated them. Not the owl, though. Uh, here. I think that's pretty much all the stuff that we were wanting to do today. Well, feed our fish, I guess. And then I'm thinking of maybe... I don't know, going mining? Although if we, if we have the 30 stone and the 5 sap, then I guess we could focus on getting some logs to try and do all of the, the town requests. Donate that too. Uh, can we, like, cancel? Is it possible? No, it doesn't seem like it. There's all 15 of these we need. Okay, so we still need three more stone. I, I don't remember how many logs we needed, but I'm sure it was more than five. Can we feed you directly? Oh, we can pet you, which I think I forgot to do. Okay, well, there's some food for you, at least. And then we can do this thing. Work with materials. Request. Never announce your live on Discord anymore? Nope, not really. <laughs> it's pretty rare. You rang? Oh, it's the bridge you won't fix, is it? Hmm, may take some time. Well, let's get things started. I'll see what I can do. Is it gonna be instant or is it actually gonna take time? Nope, it's actually gonna take time. Well, that's fun. Regardless, we definitely need some logs and five more stones. So we can do those two things real quick. And it'd probably be more optimized to not clear the stumps, but like, I don't want the stumps around here. Stumps need to go away too. We can at least do the stone and the sap real quick. It's not as time efficient maybe to make two trips, but at least this way <clears throat> I know that we have enough. Or, like, I can double-check how many logs we need, rather. Take all of these. And you know what? Take these two, because if I see somebody up here that I like, I can I can do donates. I can do donates? I can do gifts, rather. I wonder what they're going to build there, man. I mean, I assume some sort of new shop. They have been talking about putting new shops in and stuff, so it makes sense. Oh wait, was it? It was 10! Look at that! Okay, so we do have everything. Do we get the 300 gold right away? Wait. I could only do one of them? Oh. Why can't I... Why can't I do the rest? Bro, there was like three different town requests in here. That's annoying. I wanted the money for all of it. <laughs> Shit, dude. Okay, well, I guess we can only do one of them. I don't know how that's going to change the game, if at all. But getting the money for doing all of them would have been really handy, honestly. Because then we could have bought our seeds today. That's one extra day of, like, growing crops. But it's fine, I guess. Um, let's just work on continuing to clear the farm, then. And then, once the farm's clear, then we can worry about going mining and stuff. If I can see to clear the farm. 
Plus, I imagine once the, that bridge is built, there's probably going to be more stuff to clear over there. So getting it, like, clear now seems like a pretty good idea. So that we're not just getting overwhelmed with stuff to clear. And hopefully if we clear some of the trees and stuff from this side, trees and things will keep clearing over here, or growing over here, rather. Instead of them all growing over here where I want to actually grow crops. Another thing we need to try eventually is to see if we can actually chop down trees in town, or if we can only chop down the trees here on our farm. I'm hoping we can chop down the ones in town too, otherwise we're going to be like, I guess you just have to start buying logs at some point. To get them, once like your farm is full and covered in random thing, whether it's paths or fences or crops or coops or whatever. Oh, you're fine. You're not going to pass out. Could go, like, fishing, I guess. Catch some fish to make some stuff. Some food. The food just, like, doesn't really seem worth it, though. Or at least for the food that we've made before. It doesn't really feel worth it. Sap. Okay. Still really wish there was a sword button. Uh, you know what? Yeah, sure. Screw it. Let's do a tiny bit of fishing. And then I think we're going to run back into town to see about anybody we can gift to. But getting a little bit of energy would be nice. And I don't think we've actually cooked, like, a fish yet. There is also... There's something we can make with just a vegetable, too, now that we have a turnip. And it's a crab. <laughs> like, the worst of all of the, the things, from, from a money standpoint, at least. But we can cook them, I'm pretty sure. No? Really? It doesn't count as a shellfish? But, it, but it's a shellfish, though. It doesn't count as a regular fish, either. Well, that's lame. Can we eat moondrop flowers? No, it doesn't seem like it. Can we eat just fish on their own? Hmm, doesn't look like it. A nocturnal crab? Why are we catching nocturnal crabs at like 2 in the afternoon? Shouldn't they be like sleeping right now or something? Not out looking for food? Um, okay, we're gonna go find people to gift things to. Wait a second, I have a vegetable. Why can I not make... Oh, you need two vegetables to make vegetable salad. Or soup. Okay. Or juice. Was it juice? I think it was juice, actually. Wonder... Wonder where, like, the best place to farm is. You like moondrop flowers? You're welcome, Bridget. I guess we could just, like, talk to people, too, so they're, you know, happy enough with us. Takes everything I have to not just, like, keep everything. I think it was the first time I played Stardew Valley. I kept, like, five or ten of every item, man, that I found. I just had chests on chests collecting all the stuff because you never knew when something was going to be wanted by a villager or needed later for a crafting recipe or whatever the case may be. So I just kept everything. It was a wee bit obsessive, honestly. Another shrimp. I wonder what the shrimp sell for. Does it tell us here? Nope. Okay. Um, well, we can't really do any more fishing. Where is everybody? Is there any crafting we want to do? Oh, another item box. That one's stone and holds 10. That one's wood also holds 10. Okay. 
I mean, a thread maker would be nice eventually, and getting some fish bait would probably be nice. I wonder how many... How many we get? It says it takes three base and four grass. We... have grass. Is this the... that's the grocery. This must be the general store. I think that's where they sell it at. Buy goods. Fishing bait base. Give me three. And then... We can take a bath to get a little bit of energy. <clears throat> but I want to try crafting this... This bait and seeing, like, does it give us different fish? Or does it just make it easier to catch fish? First I want to get the thing base. I think it was three grass. But does it just give us three bait though? Oh, it's four grass, son of a bitch. Craft one, craft. Okay. So now that we have it, do we just like. How do we use it? Attach to fishing rod. Okay, so we now have one bait attached to a rod. Let's go, let's go take a bath. And I guess I could take out one more turnip. How much is one turnip worth? A mm, couple hundred, that's some expensive soup or juice or whatever we decide to make. That's basically like 400 gold to make a salad or a juice. Let's make a salad, I guess. I just feel like it'd be more filling. I don't know why it's sour, but like, it's a weird flavor profile. I mean, I guess like if you're using... Can we sell the food? Um, anyways, I guess if you're using like an Italian dressing or something or vinaigrette, so you can sell it, but only for 44, so it's much worth much more to just sell the vegetables on their own. Yeah, that's 202 compared to 44. So fuck that. It gave us one heart. <laughs> I don't I don't see what I mean though, I just don't think it's worth it. At least the basic recipes, man. Maybe as you get better at cooking, but. One extra heart of energy for 400 gold? There's gotta be some better way to get, to get energy. Yeah, well there's a few hearts back. Let's try fishing with our, with our, with our bait. Can we fish off the pier here? We can. Kinda. I'm also curious, like, how long it's going to last. Noodle, thank you for the five bits. Does it last until, like, we break our line? Sardine. I'm pretty sure we've gotten sardines before. And the bait is gone. <laughs> so how much did we spend on that bait? Because we bought three fishing bases or fish bait bases, which I think were, what, like 20 each or something? Um, that's like 60 plus some grass, so like 65-ish dollars for one bait? That seems a bit excessive, man, I don't know. Just doesn't feel worth it whenever you know, how much was that sardine worth that we caught? Rue, hello! 47. So yeah, we definitely lost money on the whole ordeal. Mm, I don't know, man. I just don't think the bait's worth it. To craft ourselves. If we can, like, find a way to get fish bait base or whatever for free, or to, like, 
grow it on the farm or something? Like maybe we can get some sort of machine? Like how you can get the worm bin in Stardew Valley? Something like that maybe? I don't know, man. Seems weird to me. Yeah, we've been catching a lot of crabs. Sadly, the crabs, like, really aren't worth it, though. The crabs kind of suck. I'm just wondering if we shouldn't be fishing in the river. Or, I'm sorry, in the ocean. Although that might be because, like, our fishing skill's really low. That could be the problem, too, I guess. Maybe you just get better fish the more fish you get. Be nice to the crabs. I'm, I'm not hating on the crabs. They're just not worth much money. Oh, a herring. Didn't somebody want a herring? Too late to turn it in now, though, probably. We'll stop by the town hall and see if we can still turn it in. But I'm assuming, like... That when the, the place closes, that that's it. So you're very low on health? It's fine. Yeah, see, they're only worth like 30 a piece, the crabs. They're just not worth much money. Yeah, the, the hearts are just our stamina in this game, so... Like, it's fine. There's nothing to worry about. Money's money? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm still happy to have it, I guess. It's just... Uh, rough. Oh, cool. We, oh, wait. No, we can't. Oh, it's mackerel. A horse mackerel is what they wanted, not a herring. Oop. Now you want to play Rune Factory? I thought about doing Rune Factory instead of uh, Pioneers of Olive Town, but I was really in a Story of Seasons mood whenever I was trying to pick a game. Story of Seasons slash Harvest Moon. And, uh, yeah, I've never actually played a... Uh, Rune Factory game before, but if we just go home for a second here. See, I do have Rune Factory 4 special downloaded. So, because <laughs> it was, like I said, it was in the running, but I just, I decided nah, I really wanted to play a Story of Seasons game. So I did that instead, but <laughs> to fucking guide you on that one. I will definitely end up playing it sooner or later. As long as we keep doing the cozy game stuff, I'm definitely going to end up trying it out because I'm super interested in it. It's just, yeah. Just wasn't quite what I had a hankering for right now. Specifically, the whole reason why I chose this game is because of the, the museum. I want to I wanna do the museum stuff. Oh, we missed some grass up here. Uh, I really want to get rid of the grass now, but we're, like, dead tired, so... Let me get rid of my stuff. Put that in the chest. Okay, now we're going to go to bed. There wasn't anything like on the calendar today that was important, was there? Oh, it's two people's birthday and we missed both of them. Well, fuck you guys. <laughs> Let's go to bed. It's fine. I think there's still like four people in town that we're missing, but I'm assuming it's people that just haven't moved to town yet. See, crops are where it's at, man. All that fishing and the sparkling fish is one that we actually caught before. So... We caught what? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten fish today. And they were only worth like 60, 100, 160, 220, 3, 4, like 400 gold. If we catch more sparkling fish, though, the sparkling fish are definitely worth it. But they're somewhat rare, it seems. We got really lucky our first couple of times we went out fishing and we're getting them left and right. But since then, it's just like, yeah. Oh, hello. Clemens. Hey, good morning. Sorry to suddenly pop at your door like this. The mayor asked me to come see you. That rain yesterday was something, huh? Looks like you've got a few puddles scattered about. When that happens, I'd recommend using a bucket. You can use it to scoop those pesky puddles into oblivion. Here, I'll give you my old one. It's a bit worn out, but trust me, it still works like a charm. Try it out for yourself. Why? What's wrong with puddles? Do they do something bad? Sorry, I'm like super thirsty. Ah, uh, it's too cold. Huh. I bought a game. I bought a couple games, but <laughs> I got Big Hero 6, the game. 
I have no idea if it's good or not, but I got it for like super cheap. So anyways, um, <laughs> it's just sitting on my desk. So it's just like, oh yeah, this is a thing. Um, no, I, Noodle and I went to a, uh, to a local like antique store. It's more of like a rummage sale kind of place. You know, people just put all kinds of shit there. For sale, old and new, mostly old stuff though. But anyways, uh, there was one person selling games for like three dollars a pop, so I picked up a couple of them. Nothing, nothing crazy. A couple that I already had, to be honest. But for three dollars, I couldn't pass up. And then Big Hero Six, cause I don't know, three dollars for a 3DS game didn't seem bad. If you find puddles on your farm, clear them away with the bucket. You can obtain materials like clay by scooping up water. Oh, okay. So that's why we want to scoop up water to get play of all things. Oh. Hey, the bridge is done. Okay, cool. So is this more farmland for us then? Or what does the bridge... I'm assuming it's just more farmland for us. Oh, did we get more stuff too? We did. Radishes. Ooh, and we get like mini radish. Rad eye? I don't know. We get lots of things for each one that we grow. We're still in the first week, so we can probably grow anything that we want. Um Oh that's right, we have tool storage. I wanna move you out of the way. I don't need you right now or you. All I really need right now is the watering can. And I guess we'll be doing the bucket here in a minute. And the sickle, because I missed some grass earlier. Oh, already out of water. Cool. Uh, and I will also be watering these empty plots. Because my plan is we should have enough gold to buy, I guess now, 27 different seeds. So I'm just going to go ahead and water everything so that it's ready for when we get the rest of them. I can't wait to upgrade our watering can. Not even to like water more spaces at once, but just so it holds more. Only holding 20 is like, it's not enough, dude. I'm also gonna chop down this one tree prematurely because I hate where it's at. There's no other real reason for it than I'm annoyed that it exists where it exists at. The real problem is gonna be remembering what all we've uh, bought before, planted before. Because I want to get new stuff, obviously, but, like... But I don't know what we got. <laughs> I think we just kind of went down the list. Hopefully. So hopefully it's just, like, the first four things, plus fodder. You can now use the area so skill, which will allow you to sew up to nine seeds at once. Hey! Unlock the recipes for the sprinkler. The sprinkler will automatically water all crops surrounding it each morning. Nice. Okay, that's actually really handy. Um, cool. I wonder what we need to make the sprinkler, though. That's the wrong pool. That's not going to work. Chop, chop, chop. Collect this, too. Is this ready for harvest? It is. Let's go. Oh, we also get, like, multiple fodder per thing. That's handy. Come out, Nugget. Take the egg and many think. Um, I mean, I guess we might as well fill this up with fodder. I'm assuming it'll only use fodder on the days it's not allowed to go outside to eat. So that shouldn't be a problem. Fulgurite? A natural treasure that was created by a lightning strike. It can be placed on a countertop in your house or donated to the museum. Well, we'll definitely donate the first one. It doesn't look like a decoration to me, though. I don't know. I'm not sure if using it to decorate is something I really want to do. 
want to go explore this new area, though. Oh, there's a cow! <laughs> find a pond and drain its water. If you drain all of it, you will find a treasure chest. Oh. Fancy. Okay, what do we need to fix this? 10 solid lumber. 50 flexible grass. Ooh. Blackberries? Oh, peppercorn. Okay. New things. More new things. We got oysters. These rocks look different too. Mushrooms? Bird that I scared away? Oh my god, dude. This area is like a lot bigger than our starting area. Buttercup. You can drain water from lakes, but it'll take a long time to do with just a bucket. Setting a suction pump by a hollow lake will efficiently drain any water whenever it fills back up. Eh. Fancy. We have room still? We do. There's all kinds of stuff over here, man. So is this flexible grass? Is this different than the grass, like, over at our house? Or is it the same? Yeah, it is different. Okay. Okay. Is this bamboo? Sugar cane. More flowers? Holy shit, dude. There's so much stuff over here. My bag is full. Okay, that's fine. You know what? Just put away all the tools for now. I'm in, I'm in a collecting zone right now. can't get up there yet. I wonder what that is. What is that? Is that another mine? There's multiple mines? I'm assuming there's like a puddle around here somewhere that we can drain, right? Since they brought that up, the fact that that's a thing. Shrooms? What is this? Mushroom log. I'm assuming you can use that to grow mushrooms. Oh, my bag's full again. Uh, we can put away the camera. That looks like more or less everything over here anyways. I really want to tame that cow, man. Okay, we need to go buy seeds though. We need to, we need to do stuff first. Okay, let's sell at least one of everything but the fog, right? Um, I'm assuming the, oh, they're worth 160 each. They seem like they'd be good gifts though, so I want to keep some. I'm gonna get rid of the moon drop. We definitely sold grass before. Sell a flexible grass, sugar cane. Hmm, radishes aren't worth much money. Maybe they would be a decent one to cook into food. I'm gonna keep ten of them for cooking. Sell a clay, all the mushrooms, butterbur, the sage. We'll keep a couple strawberries in case like fruit juices or something. Did we sell a pink cat flower? No. So sell that too. Okay, so we'll sell all that crap. And what all can we cook? I forget what recipes we have. Mix soup? That's new. Oh, we need an herb. Okay. Vegetable sandwich, grow fish, egg sandwich. We need toast or something, and then we need rice for that. Oh man, there's like so many things. There's nothing, there's no just like fruit juice though? Need more Sloppy Joe, bruh, I love Sloppy Joe. I haven't had it in a while though. I should buy more stuff for, or buy some stuff for Sloppy Joe. Okay, let's try, is this gonna do the same thing with one heart? That's what I wanna know. Cause if it still gives us one heart, but regardless of the food we put in, then just probably like the cheapest vegetables. Yeah, okay, would probably be the best to use for cooking at least. Hattie, what's up, man? Then the rest of this crap, I guess we can just store in here? For now? Do we have a fridge? I can't remember if there was a fridge inside or not. I'm gonna go check real quick before I forget to look. 
Yeah, fridge. Okay. So put the food in there. I don't, I doubt food like rots, but it's probably available for here, right? Yeah, okay. It's like a connected storage, which is handy. Okay, we'll give the flower to our favorite person. Hopefully she likes it. And then donate the thingy that we found and see whatever the hell this is. Stream, I'm glad you can make it. Take a gander at this road. Splendid, isn't it? Is that because we donated all the, the wood? I was gonna say, the road kind of looked like shit, dude. I'm not gonna lie. But okay, <laughs> they had to do the dramatic reveal first. I understand, I see. One week here and we've completely like rebuilt the town for them. Sorry, right. you needn't hold back. Compliment our new roads all you like. Um, well, am I in a famous resort? Mm, it's gorgeous, looks expensive too. I see you're a farmer of taste stream. All of us contributed ideas and put it up to a vote. This was our winner. Young Mikey had an idea for a popcorn stand as well, but I'm afraid it lost by a narrow margin. Honestly, I'm not a fan. Hmm? Said I'm not a fan, I'd rather have a cool maze just for the thrill of it. Roads and lamps are practical, which is just a fancy word for boring. Yeah, but you said it yourself. It would if it would be there only for the thrill of it. There would be no point of having one, so I turned it down. Okay, so you are telling me that all the time I spent being lost on vacations was for nothing. Getting lost is part of the adventure. When you're lost, you discover all sorts of new things. That's what vacation's all about. I suppose I see what you mean, but nevertheless, see no point in adding a maze to our town. Why, you can make all sorts of new discoveries here, and you don't even need to get lost. You can find the town's handsome and dignified mayor. Oh my god, dude. Not actually got a Wii, also got RE1 for the PS1, and all of, also all of the PS2 Mortal Kombat games, VR headset, and also a gaming PC. Holy shit, dude, you're not kidding. All kinds of new stuff. I still need to get, like, physical Resident Evil games. I have, like, all of them digitally and whatnot, but, yeah. The PS2 Mortal Kombat games are fun, too. Those discoveries will be created. Mark my words. Create them? Who's going to do that? Uh, stream will create them. Of course it's me. It's always me. Hello. Oh, I didn't even see the little dude behind you. Oh. Oh, little lady. My bad. <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was a child, not going to lie. Animal house. We do have enough to buy a pet. But, like, pets are expensive, and I need crops. Thank you for the gift. You're welcome. Ooh. Forgot pow- you forget Power World? This is a knockoff Pokemans? I'm very confused. <laughs> I like Power World, though. Power World's a lot of fun. Shallow Monks is your favorite. Have we played that one yet? I don't remember if we have yet or not. Cucumber onion. Ooh, we definitely got radish. Uh, flicker warning on the screen here. The game's a little broken. Um, these things grow like forever. Do they regrow the beans? Could buy like trees. What haven't we grown though? Potatoes? Have we grown potatoes? Man, I cannot remember. Uh, let's just buy some of like the expensive stuff. We'll get nine of these. Um, nine potatoes. They're not that expensive, but whatever. And we're broke. Okay, well, so much for getting like three different things, but oh well. We were able to get, replace the crops that we picked at least. And some of them I'm pretty sure are like more expensive. So there's that. Oh, we should also check what do we need to make the sprinkler? I'm guessing that's three iron, three silver. So silver's probably in the next mine. Oh. That works weird, okay. I see. So it's not like the other Harvest Moon Story of Seasons games where you stand in the center. All right, well that's fine. Most of your free time to play Helldivers 2? I own it, I haven't played it yet. 
I do want to. My brother and a friend of mine's been playing it a fair bit, and they've really been enjoying it, but I never got around to trying it out, though. Huh. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't really think it looks that much like Pokemon, to be honest with you. A little bit. I can kind of see it. As far as, like, 3D Pokemon goes, but... The series is uh, much older than 3D Pokemon. Not as old as Pokemon, but... Although, close. It's been around since Super Nintendo. Uh, oh shit, we still need to go to the museum and donate the thingy. I forgot about that. And then, I guess... We'll finish clearing our farm first. And then we'll go, like, try and clear... Hello some of the other stuff from the new area that we unlocked. Should probably mine and get some iron, too. Hmm. It's like the iron, we're gonna need it for if we're gonna build the sprinklers, which would free up a large portion of our day. Do we have, because there's skills. I'm assuming field work covers all of field work. Not just like watering or picking crops or whatever. So like having things do the watering for us, I don't think will cause any issues. We should probably also water. Oh. Our uh, fodder here before we forget. Not sure how I missed that. Put you away. Latest Pokemon you've played is Sapphire? Damn, man. Latest one I played is whatever the newest one is. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, Sword and Shield? Is it Sword and Shield? That's Scarlet and Violet, I think, are the newest ones. I haven't finished it yet, but I have played it, though. Oh, I missed. Is this an herb? There's an herb. We should try making, like, a tier 2 recipe using an herb and see if it does better than the... I guess... Well, tier 2 is not the right way to put it, but... One of the more complicated recipes. The recipes that aren't literally just use two vegetables. Any vegetable. Oh, uh, we're also going to want to get the copper and crap so that we can upgrade our tools. Doing so would probably make these types of chores a lot easier. And collecting all of the new crap from the next area. Because I'm assuming, like, the, the harder trees are probably going to be, well, harder to chop. So upgrades would be nice. old or anything you just owned it since you had your ds so that's what you played i'm a big fan of pokemon um i don't remember when they came out or anything but i've been playing since first gen i was late to the party one of my grandparents uh, bought me a copy and shipped it to me for christmas along with a, a game boy and uh, i've been playing pokemon ever since basically but I'm pretty sure by the time I got Pokemon Blue was my first one. Pretty sure by the time I got that, Gold and Silver were already out. And, like, Sapphire and uh, Ruby were probably on their way out, if not out already. But that's okay. I was still super happy to have them. I enjoyed the hell out of the game. Obviously, like I said, I'm still playing them now. Deposit all of this crap except for the oregano. Keep the oregano. I want to cook... ...something. Is there nothing we can make? Wasn't there some stuff that we just needed, like, an herb and a vegetable for?
and mountain greens. I guess oregano doesn't count as a mountain green. Then, well, okay, first off, I'm sure oregano is going to be used for cooking at some point. I don't think it sells for that much, so put that in there. But do we have... We only have one burr. Can we use sugarcane? That sounds disgusting. Damn, no, I guess not. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we're like out of stamina. I guess we could go up into the mountains and see if we could find any more animals to take a picture of. And then do a tiny bit of fishing while we're up there, but it's really going to be just a tiny bit. So we just don't have the stamina left for it. Who are you? Small child. Oh, never mind. Okay. Guess he didn't want to talk to us. That's fine. And sadly, it does not look like we can actually chop down random trees out here in the forest. So yeah, I guess like once our farm's fully built out, we really are just going to have to like start buying all of our... our wooden things. Mortar? How do we even make mortar? Oh, there we go. Two clay. Okay. Is there anything else we should be making right now? I don't really care about the outside decorations, to be honest with you. Getting some, like, roads or something would be nice, just to have between the fields. Have it more clearly marked where everything where we want everything but like I don't know it's not that big of a deal to me one thing we could do specifically whenever we're low on energy like this we could probably just skip fish if it's not like two exclamation marks because that's the more expensive stuff just to like maximize our return on the fishing, but I just don't know if it's really worth the time to do so when we could just go to our house and take a bath to gain some energy. Do any forageables pop up on the beach? I know they do on our beach every once in a while at our <laughs> house. I don't know if they ever pop up on this one or not, though. Not looking like it. I know, I really should play Helldivers too, but... Oh, you're just a tourist. Lame. Now, I really have been wanting to. Like I said, uh, I, I got a copy of it. Actually, a buddy of mine gifted it to me. Um, but I just haven't gotten around to trying it out yet. One of these days, though, for sure. Are these puddles already here, or did I, like... Did I miss them? Or more puddles forming all the time? Let's take a bath. Regain a little bit of energy. Ooh, you know what? Before we do that... Let's try grilling a fish. I don't think we've tried eating grilled fish before. fish. So it was a was it a dace that we cooked, I'm guessing? Did we just catch two dace? So the dace is worth 59. Our grilled fish is only worth 31. So how much food or energy does that give us? Not terrible. It gave us like three hearts worth. It's a hell of a lot better than the vegetable stuff that we were cooking. Should probably make some mortar and sell that too, just to see if like selling it gives us anything. 
or like unlocks anything for us. I don't know when things are picked up in this game. Is it 5.30 or is it overnight? I'm guessing overnight since there's still stuff here. It hasn't all just like automatically disappeared. Can we get different things from these puddles? No, the puddles seem the same. Oh crap, okay. This is going to take a couple hits. Is it going to give us silver, though? Or is this just like a normal rock, but harder? That looks like silver ore. Hell yeah. Now, I think there were a different kind of rocks around here somewhere. These ones. Rock salt. Oh, salt's cool. I imagine that'll be useful for cooking at some point. get different fish from these waters over here? I'm assuming no, because it's literally just like more ocean, just, you know, over a little bit. But I don't know. I've never played this game before. One of the few games you think of playing when you're literally doing nothing else. A squid? That's new. Again, I have no idea if that's because of where we're fishing or if it's just luck, but new things are still cool. Although, sadly, we're going to have to donate it because it's our first one, I'm pretty sure. Sardine, that's definitely not new. Uh, let's take you and put you over here. Keep it separate from the other stuff. Giant tiger shrimp. I think that's new too. It'd be nice if the game like told us the first time that we fish something up so we know what needs donated and what doesn't. Could just keep a checklist, but that sounds like work. Oh, there's the horse mackerel somebody wanted yesterday. Do we have enough for one more round of fishing? I think so. Another giant tiger shrimp, okay. Oh, we're close to passing out, but we didn't. Can we split? Oh no, you're the shrimp, okay. Cool. So we can definitely sell at least one of those. And I guess it's just time to go to bed. We'll see about, like, chopping down some of these trees over here tomorrow. Depending how, like, filled our farm gets. Uh, okay. Well, hold on. I'm going to want to keep at least one silver ore. And sell one. Same with the rock salt. Have we sold iron ingot before? I don't know. Screw it. We're going to sell it anyways. So I can't remember if we have or not. And the game doesn't seem to tell you any of this stuff. How much is all this stuff worth, actually, first? Mortar's not worth it. Rock salt's not bad. Iron ingots, meh. Giant tiger shrimp, 72. Horse mackerel, 72 as well. Not bad. Alright. Uh, bedtime? Bedtime. Sleep. And then take the stuff to the thing tomorrow. Don't forget, to the museum. To see what we can sell, what we can keep, whatever. Oh, those strawberries are worth a decent amount, huh? Especially for forage. Same with the mushrooms and the buttercups. A lot of that stuff's worth good money. It's as much as a lot of our crops are worth. Everybody's expanding their lineup because of the shit we sold. It's handy. We gonna have another cutscene in the morning, yep. 
Good morning, stream. Apologies again. I know it's early. I wanted to speak with you about our town's development. Thinking hard about it, and I'd like for us to open up some new shops in town. Once they open up, the citizens can enjoy themselves with shopping trips, and all of town would inevitably grow livelier. Needless to say, you'd be welcome to go shopping at our new stores as well. Wouldn't you like to be a little more stylish? You can find out more about the requests on Olive Town, Olive Hall's bulletin board, so be sure to give it a read. Rich farmer? How are we a rich farmer? makes us rich we only have like four thousand dollars it's not like uh, <laughs> i don't feel like that's that much money cool that it's raining again though that means you know you don't have to deal with that it does seem like shit comes back every day are these potatoes potatoes hopefully these are worth some money Then our chicken should already have fodder. But we'll give him a pet. And take this. So we need to buy 18 more seeds. Wild onion? Wild onion. Our fruit still hasn't grown yet. Is that it for farm forage? Uh, oysters, blood clams, whatever the hell they are. I think, I mean, the clams aren't really worth much. So I am wondering if we should just keep them. I'll keep a couple of potatoes for potential cooking. And the wild berries. And I guess the egg. Sell the rest of the stuff though. 46 a pop. Not bad considering how many we get. I don't know what time the general store opens, I just realized. Hopefully they're open for business now. If not, we can go to the museum first maybe? No, they're open. I would like to buy... Have we bought strawberry seeds yet? They're expensive, but buy them. And then I guess we'll try one of these other things, like, uh... I don't know, beans? Tea. How about tea? Buy some tea. Plant that stuff. That'll fill our two open spots that we still have. And let's go check this board. I'm assuming they're going to want, like, level 2 materials now. So... More lumber. Or, no, last time it was logs, huh? So now they want lumber, iron ingots, cloth, or iron ore. Oh, that's just a person that wants iron ore. So, five lumber. We could probably do that one. Five lumber, three iron ore. Okay. We can probably do that. Mm -hmm. It's a little sketch of dude just running around town with a scythe. Or sickle. Which one is it, technically? Sickle, yeah. Seems a little odd to me. I guess we gotta wait for her to get over here. We can talk to them in the meantime. Hmm. Bro, you're here. Why can't I? <laughs> Just let me talk to you. You're here. Fish. Pork smack roll. Here. We're almost done with our first row. We will be by to uh, the yeah. <laughs> by the time we finish giving them the shit that we have in our pockets, Hello. our pocket fish. Wait, something just happened. Did we level up or something? Do you get rewards depending how much stuff you donate? Well, something else just popped up too, but I didn't see what it was. It went away too quickly. Talk of the town. Okay. 
So we're, what, popular? What did that give us? Essence Maker. What the hell's the ess Essence Maker do? Wait, that's a Powder Maker? What the hell's the Powder Maker? Crafting. Essence Maker. Contraption automatically converts flowers, bouquets, and fruits into essences. Insert one, wait a little bit, and voila. Up to 20 can be set at a time. Is that for, like, perfume? Did I miss the powder maker? Is that... Oh, it's right here. Contraption can automatically process coffee beans, cacao, chili peppers, wheat, and herbs into powdery seasonings. Ah, I mean, that makes sense. You can make seasoning out of stuff. Um, But I think that's all we can do for now. We need, like, higher tier stuff to make that stuff, though, right? Silver and something, it looks like. That looks like silver. That's rope, which I don't... Do we know how to make rope? I mean, I don't really see... What do you put in the thread maker? Grass. Oh. Okay, I thought it would require wool. So I guess maybe we should try to get one of those, actually. We need to do more, like, mining for that, though, which... We haven't really done much of yet. I guess we could do that today instead of going to... The new farming area. Yeah, why not? Seems like a decent plan to me. Clear the rest of this crap off our farm, though. These are iron-bearing or, or rocks anyways, so... It's still handy to break them apart. We'll get stuff. Obviously, finding, like, things here in the mine that we can just till up would probably be better. I wonder if the ladders down are more likely to spawn under certain types of rocks. Like the iron-bearing rocks or ore-bearing rocks, or if it's better to just, like, do the regular rocks and hope for the best. I am glad it doesn't seem to use up... Ooh. Uh, it doesn't seem to use up stamina unless we actually break something, or, well, hit something. Like, if we accidentally click on the wrong thing, it doesn't seem to do anything. Which is nice. And I wonder, like, with this mine here, can we only find iron in this one, since this is the basic mine? Or if we get deep enough, can we still find other junk? Uh, I guess we need our hoe. Don't need any of this stuff, though. Ooh, raw white opal. Fancy. I think that's the first gemstone we've dug up. Did I go down or did I go up? Thank God. I was really worried I accidentally went down. Or up, rather. Because I have to assume the deeper we get, the more things will spawn. And I'm assuming as soon as we go up, everything resets. Ooh, definitely want this one. Less stamina for more reward. Mm, 
through the rocks. Just go down. It'd be much better to find a tilling spot or like a hole in the wall. Than to like waste our time digging up those iron ores. There's the ladder already. That's nice. Nothing. Here's a dude. Gib. Nope, just go down. I'm not- oh. Oh! Oh, okay, this is new. Magma Sprite, you made it all the way down here? You're pretty good. As a reward, I'll give you a present. Keep up the hard work, you're doing great. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> Wait, Opal times three. So, do we want to like... How deep do we want to go? How deep does it go? This is the tenth floor. Is 10 the max? Is there like a hundred? Is there no end to it? Does it just go on forever? Oh, okay. 10 might be the bottom. And we can't till in here, so 10 must be the bottom. I wonder if that'll be the same for everything though. Okay, somebody did want three iron ore, just like raw ore, so we'll keep three of those, but then, I don't remember how many we have, do four, that'll leave us some ore, three iron ore, uh, wasn't it five lumber that they wanted? How long does it take to make one? Two hours? That's a long time, bro. That's only one o'clock in the game. Never mind, it's not that bad. We can wait for that. Uh, ship, ship. Holy. Those are worth some money, huh? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Not nearly as much as I thought. It's the potatoes. I thought, like, it had went up from nothing, basically. So what do we need to craft the thread maker? We need 10 rope, which is just five grass. We should have a bunch of grass in here. Yeah, we have a bunch of grass. Um, Let's make, like... 25. And then... We need... 10 logs. Craft. And then we'll just put you here? Can't put you there. Can't put anything else up here. Son of a bitch, I guess we have to smash this tree. Poor dude didn't know what was coming for him. So, so you make thread. Um... Let's make let's make six thread. So I'll sell one and then keep the rest. So much you make this type of game, but you make meth instead of crops. I'm sure somebody's done something like that before. Uh, forage? Yeah, we'll go check for forage. Did we pet our chicken today? Hmm. Yes. Okay. Bound to be more forage over here. Eventually, we need to start clearing this one too, but. Really wanted to go mining today. Just haven't done the mining before. Not really. I mean, we could collect some grass, I guess. 
That doesn't take much energy. That's sugar cane? Yes, it is. Take you. We could clear this mine. Maybe. How many hits does it take? Oh. Okay, these must just be iron rocks, not silver. That's not bad. Is it the same basic thing? Oh, there's baddies. Beware of baddies. They'll pop out of the ground to get in your way. If you touch them, you'll lose stamina. Hit them with your hammer to teach them a lesson. They might even drop items if you do. Could we get, like, lucky and just go all the way to the bottom? Oh, God. We're, like, stuck in here. Wait. Dig? Okay. Oh, you're new. Red barrel. Does it only go down to 10, the same as the other one? Time-worn object. Is that something we can donate? Well, we can have it appraised. Okay. There, our luck finally run dry. Ooh, not really. Those holes in the wall are nice. It really would have been nice to get all the way to the bottom, though. Is that baddie going to pop up again? I kind of want to beat him in the head. Oh, there he is. See what he drops for us this time. Okay, maybe it's just, like, random whatever he drops. Or, like, rather, maybe the time-worn... Worn Time-worn object is random whenever we get it appraised. Okay, we're gonna leave for now. We're, like, out of energy. I think we've sold peppercorn before. I'm just gonna... Keep it for now? No, we'll sell it. It's probably not worth anything. We'll keep these things, though. I forgot we needed three of these for the community board. We'll sell the rest of the stuff. Unless, can this be donated? Doesn't say anything about donating it. Ooh, we got the lumber. We've got all kinds of things. We're gonna sell that as well. We're keeping the lumber. The lumber was the other donatable object. Sell, sell. A hundred, not bad. Time worn objects sell for nothing. Thread sells for basically nothing. I didn't figure thread would really be worth selling because, you know, grass is only worth like one or nothing or whatever. I think the community board's open 24-7, so we're gonna go to the museum first to get these things appraised. Oh. Get appraisal. Oh. Item number one, sorry to keep you waiting. Here's your, oh, silver oh. ore. Okay, yeah, so it's probably just random junk in a bag. Cave pearl, that's new. Treasure that was made in the Deathly Cavern. It can be placed on a countertop or donated to a museum. Hello. Pearly Pearl? Yeah. I guess we'll donate it since it's our first one. I really wish there was like one quality of life change to the game where it told you if you had donated something before or not. That's that's the one thing other than the, the glitching of the screen, which could be due to the capture setup. I don't know. But other than that, that's like the only thing I would change about the game so far. It's still cold, man. I haven't even put the lid on it. As I was hoping it would just like warm up a little bit, but. Faux cave pearl? Why not just like put the real thing there? I guess if it's super rare or something, then sure, but. Oh, God. Hmm. 
two o'clock. It's not even that late. Your boy's just tired. I'm a little surprised we haven't seen Optijack yet. Maybe he doesn't realize we're streaming. Here you go. Here's your three iron worm. I'm assuming that also helps with like them liking us. And here's your lumber. So I'm assuming since we did that, all the other requests are going to disappear. Yeah. And then tomorrow, the town's probably going to be upgraded again in some way. Is he even alive? He's not online, so he might just be like dead still or something. I wouldn't put it past my brother to be dead. Uh, what do we do? I guess we could make food. And then either clear the farm or fish a bit. Oh, we can make the mixed soup now. Or fried egg. See, like, it shows us here what we've made and haven't made. Which is nice. Oh, wait. You know what? No, the potatoes are worth more money. Use the radish, because I don't think it matters what ingredients go in. I think it's just the dish itself that determines, like, how much it fills. And then, I mean, we need to make everything at some point, or I want to make everything at some point. So go ahead, fry the egg, too. And presumably, the better we get at cooking, then the more, like, health it refill, because <clears throat> the better the dishes will be. We've made everything we can. Um, Eat the soup. Man, I still don't understand what soup does. <laughs> like, it makes the things gold, but I don't... I don't really understand it, though. That gave us one heart. Eat the egg, too, then. Screw it. Oh, the egg was good. Unless, again, unless that's, like, a whole meal bonus because we're full all of a sudden. At, at least I'm assuming that's what that little symbol means. I guess we could, like... Can we just save, like, right now? Can we, like, go to the book and save or something? Yeah, write in journal. Uh, oversave this one. Oversave, overwrite. Let's, like, cook more food and see what happens if we just keep eating or if it just won't let us. Shellfish soup. More shellfish soup. Um, vegetable salad. Doesn't matter what we put in it, because this is just for testing. Okay, let's... Oh, okay, yeah, it literally won't let me eat. I guess we could have figured that out if we had just, like, looked at it. Oh, one really cool thing, if you haven't seen about this game, is it actually has a difficulty setting. Which is cool. I'm leaving it on normal because, like, that's how I want to play. But I still think that's really cool that there is a difficulty setting for the game. If you want a more laid-back, relaxed experience. So I wonder, like... So the gold hearts. Hold on. We're going to waste another half hour. So I'm going to take a bath. Does that last, like, forever? Until we start using energy, or... I mean, maybe... I don't know. Whatever. We're just gonna do some late night fishing. Or clearing. Honestly, clearing kind of sounds better because I want to get the cow. We're at least gonna try to clear... But we're going to see how hard it is to chop down these trees. Yeah. 
Wait, that was just a regular log. That wasn't even anything, like, fancy. Maybe it's these trees. Ah, yes. Okay, it's these trees. So these ones we want the better axe for, because this is, like, wasting so much energy <laughs> for four solid logs. Well, five once we get the stump. But the amount of energy that took, holy hell. What about the grass, though? Does it take extra energy to cut, or is it the same? Just one swipe. Okay, that's still just one, so we can collect the grass at least. Good mess. What do we need to repair this? Solid lumber. Okay. We're gonna collect all the grass we need for it, which was 50. And then we'll probably wait for the lumber, sadly, until we have better tools. Which I guess will be the next thing we work toward. I can't remember exactly what we need for it, though. Can this... So, hold on, though. Solid log to make solid lumber. Same thing though, it takes three. I'm gonna sell one, because I sell one of like everything. So you never know what it's gonna unlock, if anything. And then just dump everything else. Damn you. Red popping up late. Store, 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 and store, and then fishing pole. I wonder if we can upgrade our fishing pole if that's an option. And then fish until we're at energy, or it gets like super late, I guess. Pick. Give me, give me some level two stuff, please, game. Some sparkly fish. I almost wonder if like going to another island and fishing there would be worth it. But it really does seem like everything is just kind of in the same. Or, like, it's the same pool of stuff no matter where you fish at, it seems like. Like, ocean is always ocean. Lake's always lake at the very least. Is there a river? I don't know if we've seen a river or not. There might be, like, river fish. Instead of just lake and ocean. Got it. We need money. I want to buy more fruit trees. I think upgrading tools should come first. Since we're like in a rapid expansion phase right now. But like, I really want more fruit trees though. And getting more fruit trees now would mean more profits later. There is that. Chocobo, what's up, sir? I'm a little worried. Does that symbol mean you're sick? I know I'm a little sick, so... <laughs> there seems to be something going around. I say symbol, emoji. I've never seen an emoji before. What is with all these crabs? I'm gonna like single-handedly Maybe you do get different fish depending where you're at actually now that I think about it like everything is the same over here We were catching different shrimp and stuff over here Oh, there is a river fish in the river. Let's see if that gives us anything different Of course, there's a river we have a freaking bridge over it man. There was a whole like thing about 
us getting the the bridge. Idiots. Yellow perch. That's new. Pretty sure. It's got to be better than crabs. Can we get another one so I can sell one? Yellow perch? Yeah, let's go. Uh, more fishing. This probably be the last one though. Time's going quick. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Almost broke our line. A dace. We've had dace before. Many dace before. Okay. Let's sell this crap. Sardine, sardine, worthless crabs. 62, yeah, not terrible. On the yellow perch. Town upgrade tomorrow too, I think. Twenty five hundred for not selling any crops. I don't think it's too bad. Oh wait, no, we did sell potatoes. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, we woke up late. Wonder. So what is it like after twelve? You wake up late? Ooh, our first uh, cucumbers. At least I think it's our first cucumbers. Crop PhD. What did we just level up? Nothing. Okay. Just random achievement. Mm, tool bag. We need... Not that. Watering can. Why can't we, like, use the watering can as a bucket to empty these puddles? It's just a bucket with a spout on it, after all. I can't wait until we get the ability to either water more crops at a time, or a bigger watering can. Or I guess just like, mine more, so that we can make sprinklers to do the watering for us. That would just save a lot of our time throughout the day. I'm gonna go let our chicken out after this field. I guess we'll go ahead and fill this up too and do the fodder while we're over here. Oh man, oh, did we not restore all of our stamina either? Because of how late we went to bed. Interesting, okay. Oh, it doesn't use up any water either if we're not actually at a, uh, a tile that can be watered. I must have, like, miscounted. I thought we had enough. We're one short. Oh, uh, do we buy our pet now? We do have the money for it. I guess first we should see how much it costs to do an upgrade. A tool upgrade. And then we can maybe get a pet, assuming they're open. And we don't spend all of our money on... Either a tree or the other thing that I've already forgotten what I said. Cool. Two upgrades. Ooh, things are growing on our tree. 
There's some flowers. I forget what kind of tree it is. Some sort of fruit. Damn it. We need to stop at the museum, too, if they're open. Almost forgot. We'll keep this stuff. Not worth selling any of it. Except for the cucumbers. We'll keep a few. Sell the rest. Oh yeah, that's right! Town upgrade today! Stream, good to see you! Bonjour, I see your youthful passion burns as brightly as ever. I take you were already acquainted with Karina here? She was a well-known stylist back in the day. Was is the keyword. Those days have long since passed. I'd rather focus on the present, if you don't mind. Yes, yes, of course. Our town has become a charming little place, if I do say so myself. Our new salon will fit right in. That's what we donated all that money to get a salon. I really... I don't really care so much about changing my look, but... Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the gourmet columnist. I uh, love it. He's... I don't... Mm. Anyways, I guess we'll check out the salon since we're here, but like... Oof. Nigel's Handiworks. Is this it? Yeah, tool shop. Hey. Upgrade tools. So it's a thousand gold plus three logs, three ingots. Can we upgrade our watering can? We can. Um, charge it to water the crops before you in one fell swoop. Mmm. Flexible long tool used for fishing. No matter how large the lunker on the line, this rod will never break. The iron finish has just been upgraded one level. You can catch more types of fish with it. So you can catch more fish and it never breaks? Is that how that works? So everything requires three iron ingots, and most things consider three or consider require three lumber. Uh, the extra bag costs just like a flat 3,000. Okay. I think the pet is going to have to wait a day or two. Because <laughs> I really want to upgrade some tools today. Uh, you can have clothes crafted. Okay. Do I really want to like... Okay, well first off, we don't have the materials for it anyways. Okay, I do kind of want to get a freaking... <laughs> uh, top hat, man. <gasps> the Mineral Town cap! Yeah, some of the stuff is cute, don't get me wrong. Like, I agree with the, the flower ring. But, like, Mineral Town was my favorite Harvest Moon game. So I'm getting the hat. And then we can change our hairstyle, which... Oh, wait, there was other types of clothes. I don't want to change my hair. I like my hair. Um, but outfits. So I have the DLC, so there should... <laughs> we can get some chaps. White cowgirl duds. Hell yeah. Anyways, there should be free stuff in all of this is what I was gonna say. Get the helmet. Mm, I don't know about the helmet. I think we need like money for, or not money, but materials for that anyways, which we just don't have. School blazer and slacks or skirt? No, I'm good. I might get the farm boy outfit. Ah, oh, nope, never mind. There's Mineral Town overalls too. Oh, we can get the hoodie? Mm, I mean, hoodie's more me, but like overalls, dude. We're going full Mineral Town. Hopefully she can work on like more than one thing at a time. I didn't see her say anything about not being able to, so. Okay, no accessories for free though. The white cowgirl does. <laughs> Thanks for the five bits, Noodle. Uh, we need materials for that, so we cannot, we cannot get it, sadly. Hey, at least it requires less material. 
since like it's smaller that's cool requires i'm assuming one less leather and one less cloth here we can do this though because i want to stick with the mineral town aesthetic but we can get the the girls overalls which i mean really isn't that much different it just looks like it's a little bit shorter maybe like the the pants are rolled up a little bit but whatever we can commission that too all right there we go uh i guess we could talk to you since we're here too uh -huh. and then how much iron bars do we actually have ready wasn't there something else i was coming here for oh i need to go to the museum but we have a minute Grab the thingy. There we go. Four. So we can only upgrade one thing right now. What do we want to upgrade? Oh, wait. We still need a sell us all lumber, don't we? I don't think we've sold one yet. Do we have any more iron ore? Or did we turn it? We have five more. I think that's enough to make one more bar. Really, we just need to go, like, mining a bunch more. But we can upgrade one thing. Um, we can make sprinklers. So I feel like upgrading that super early is would be dumb. Hey. So it should probably be... Oh, shoot. I forgot about logs. Or not logs, but the thingies. Damn it. Um, okay. Hold on. We'll be back, Clemens. Sorry, I'm an idiot. We can stop at the general store, though, as long as we save a thousand. I think each one was only a thousand, right? Well, there's all kinds of people here. Hello, people. Uh -huh. oh my god, dude. The graphical glitching is dumb. Oh, yeah. It might just be like a PS5 problem, because this is a PS4 game, not a PS5 game. So you sell iron ore for 60. Do you sell just like... No. I was hoping they just sold the bars as well, but... How much are trees? Bears fruit in spring takes 15 days. So we would technically get something now, but I feel more like we should just get something... For the next season? Does it have things for the next season yet? It does not. Okay. Mm. I feel like if we get a coffee tree and then the ability to make coffee powder, I, I just, I feel like coffee would give us a lot of stamina. So I'm gonna do the coffee one. Can we do two, actually? We might be able to do two. Cherry. Yeah, that'll still leave us with a thousand. Dope, yeah. Buy one of each, then. Because if we do both now, we should be able to get, like, one harvest, maybe two, before the end of the season, which would be nice. Can we plant trees right next to each other? No, they need a gap of at least one. That's fair. Uh, sure. Plant seedling. And plant seedling. There we go. And then we need three... Uh, we don't have any lumber? And it takes two hours each. Damn it. Alright, well, I guess we're not upgrading anything today. That sucks. Go ahead and put the bar back in here then. Uh, we'll go and donate the thingy before I forget. Oh wait, did the fishing rod? Yeah, I think it needed... Yeah, it was the bucket and the watering can that didn't need any lumber, so. Sell that. Uh, da -da -da. Maybe donate a thing or two while we're up here. Or not donate, but like give away a thing or two rather. 
Ooh, we can make potato salad. We haven't made that before. Wait, what? Oh, it requires a cucumber. Oh, cool. Good thing we have a cucumber then, I guess, huh? Put all of this in there. So much for donating stuff to people. Is there anything else new that we can make? We learned to make a, a lot of new stuff, but no. Herbal tea. I wonder if tea will give us stamina. It's technically like caffeinated. Not as much, but there is some in it. <laughs> some of these... Mm, it's just like... It's just so not worth it, man, eating. You get so, like, little energy from it. And selling our stuff makes so much money that I, I don't know. I wonder if it would be better to just go to the store and buy food. Than to actually make it ourselves. Butterburrs. Well, we have none, so you're gonna have to wait. I'm worried with how much the screen is glitching. I'm, like, scared the game's gonna crash or something. But we have no way of saving without going back home. So just hope for the best. Hello. Hello. I want to donate fish, please. I wonder what happens if we try to leave this room while we're in it. I assume it'll just tell us that we can't, or there'll be an invisible wall. One or the other. Do we keep anything to gift? No, <laughs> we got rid of it all. Oops. Fishing? Or clearing more land? Let's... Fish. Last week of school, then you should have time to build your PC. How does the community feel about Prop Hunt? Because I've never played. I'm super down, man. I see clips of Prop Hunt all the time. And, like, it looks super fun. But I've never actually played before. Which Prop Hunt would you want to play? Because <clears throat> I know, like, there's different games with a Prop Hunt mode built in. So is there, like, a particular one that you're wanting to do? I'm just curious because I need to buy whatever game. <laughs> I hate there being all these tourists because I don't know who I need to talk to or not. Hello. Oh, you're a new dude. Okay. There's one of the new dudes for us. Mm You know what it looks like, but not the title? Yeah, do let me know, because like I said, I'll, I'll definitely be picking it up as long as it's not super pricey. Because I'm, I'm down. 100% down to play some Prop Hunt, man. I want to try that uh, content warning game, too. I picked it up. My, my game group has talked about maybe playing it, but we haven't actually done it yet. But that game looks fun, too, from what little bit I've seen of it. From clips and things and the trailer and whatnot. I'm guessing this is a shiny fish based on the, the two exclamation marks. And how much harder it is to reel in. Sparkling fish, whatever. Yeah, let's go, dude. That's a cool $500. Can we get lucky again? Give us another sparkly boy? No. I almost want to upgrade the fishing rod first. Fishing's always been one of my favorite things to do in games, especially when it's like accompanied by a little mini game like this. So like, <laughs> I just want the ability to get more fish better. Whiskered velvet shrimp? I'm pretty sure we've got that before. We've got a couple different fish before at least. Ooh, another sparkly boy.
But I'm trying to be practical by upgrading, like, the axe or something first. Although, like, I don't know. Right now, regular wood's not that hard to get. It's more of a pain to get the uh, ore than the wood. So maybe we should do... Excuse me, maybe we should do the hammer first. <clears throat> I can't wait for this cold or whatever the hell I'm getting to go away. I hate being congested all the time. We can do one more. Round of fishing. I didn't see, was this a two? I think this might have been a... No, never mind. It's coming in too quick to be a two. Oh, we can do one more. I thought that was going to eat up more energy than it did. And before we pass out this time. I have to admit though, doing this makes me really miss the hard, uh, Stardew Valley minigame. I know it's a big point of contention for a lot of people, but I really enjoy it, honestly. I like the Stardew Valley minigame for fishing. It has a real sense of progression to it too, because of like how much easier it gets as time goes on. So it starts hard, but you know, gets easy. I mean, at this rate, maybe we can get two pools tomorrow. We need more ingots, though, wouldn't we? Um, it's not too late to do a little bit of mining. We could get lucky. and get some, like, whatchamacallit, either, like, tilling spots or, like, holes in the wall or whatever, or veins, whatever they call them. We we'll just have to take a bath first, get a little bit of energy. We definitely don't want to be out super late tonight, because restoring a full set of energy would be super nice, as would waking up at a reasonable time tomorrow. But we'll take two baths. Get a bit of energy. And then see if we get lucky. Ooh, Moondrop Flower too. We can give that to somebody. There's the way down already. Nothing free. I mean, it seems like on average you get more from breaking stone than you do tilling the ground, but tilling the ground costs one energy, breaking those stones costs five, or well, swings, I should say. Not the amount of actual energy it uses. Come on, give us anything. A hole in the wall, a tilling spot. Anything useful, dude. Oh, there we go. We got both. We do have to clear another rock, though. Well, no, we might be able to do it diagonally. Yes! Okay, break it. Do we get a reward every time we get to level 10, or just the first time? <laughs> Probably just the first time. No ladder. Mm, come on, give me ladder. Bro. Nothing. 
nothing. Okay, and I'm gonna stop. One more swing. Yep, okay. I'm done. Leave the mine. I wonder... I wonder if there's any use for the opals. Maybe, like... I wonder if certain villagers like them, maybe? this junk, and then... I guess just sell it, maybe? I mean, it's only 50 gold. Maybe we will just try giving it to somebody and see if they like it. I don't think... It doesn't tell us, like, what liked gifts are, does it? No. How many more people are we missing? still. Oh. Yeah. Uh, bless me. Sorry. Alright. Um, I guess that's it for tonight. Let's go to bed. So the prop hunt game is 10, but has bad reviews. Midnight Ghost Hunt and Witch... Midnight Ghost Hunt and Witch It are 20, and the recommended games other than Gmod. Midnight Ghost Hunt and Witch It. I've never heard of either one of those, but just let me know which one you would prefer, and that's the one I'll pick up. I'm down to get any of those three. Grocery store is expanded. Maybe cucumbers? <laughs> It's weird not being, like, woken up every morning. By the mayor telling us some random thing. Uh, da -da -da -dum. I need four of these. And two of these. We're definitely upgrading two tools today. Any crops ready to pick? No. We can water, though. Or need to water, though. And then, sadly, we don't quite have enough to upgrade two tools and get our pet. I do legitimately want to get the pet. Oh, shoot, are they closed today? I know a lot of shops are closed on Tuesdays. I don't know if the tool dude is closed on Tuesday, though. Oh, I've heard of Oh Dear. I know what Oh Dear is. It does look funny. It's not quite the same as like Prop Hunt, but similar. But yeah, I've seen a couple of clips of it. It does look like a good time. Looks fun for 30-ish minutes. Yeah, that's kind of my worry with it too, to be honest, is that I would get tired of it after a bit, but... But honestly, that's how I am with most multiplayer games. So like, whatever, you know, <laughs> I can't, I can't hate on it. I kind of don't want this tree growing right here in the middle of our stuff, but at the same time, I want more full grown trees so we can get lumber. Water bringer. Okay, so some of this stuff isn't skills that we're getting. It's just titles. How do we change our title? Also, facility information. Tool shop. Closed on Tuesdays. God damn it. But so is the animal shop, so I guess we won't be buying our pet today either. Kind of screwed either way, I guess. Hi, Nugget. Apprentice Livestock Breeder? Animal Care level up. Animal Care, what did that do for us? We can make the Mayonnaise Maker. That should increase the amount of money that we get off stuff. 
and it costs three and three. Insert an egg, wait a little bit, and voila, up to 20 can be set at a time. Fuck yeah, dude. Craft that. Can we put it in here, though? Now, that is gonna cost, like, one of our tool thingies, but whatever. We cannot put it inside. Oh, well. Um... Honestly, I kind of want to, like... Uh... All items in this facility will be dropped. I'm gonna save first, because I kind of want to move it. I just want to put it, like, closer to the water or something. So it's a little more out of the way of where we're growing crops at so we can expand our crop fields once we get sprinklers without sprinklers i think this is about as big as i want to get roughly but once we start getting sprinklers down it'd be nice to have more room you know pillsbury has banana bread and one of those tubes you can get cookie dough in that's pretty cool i did not know that okay so just in case this like fucks everything up I'll clear this away and then We'll just put you, like... So we can't have you right up against the water, but we can have you, like, right here. Uh, okay, we have to rename it. That's fair. Chicken... House. Done. Confirm. And then do we just go... to you? Chicken house. Place. Now we probably have to let you back out though, right? You like banana bread? I didn't know that. I'm very annoyed by this placement now though, but like that'll move soon, so whatever. Um, okay. What time is it? It's only 8.58. Let's... Place and tool bag this stuff. Let's get out the axe and the sickle and clear some farmland. Get some more materials and things. I guess we do actually need the hammer too. Oh, that's the wrong tool. But it would be nice to get, I don't remember, oh, to get back up to enough uh, lumber and iron to upgrade a couple tools. I hope it's like instant upgrades and doesn't take time. Usually it takes time in these games, but it'd be really cool if it was instant. The powerful. Oh, shit, I forgot I was trying to see how to, like, use these titles. Would it be here? Change title, there we go. Um, beekeeping? There's beekeeping? Farm life. Keeper of the full bag. Three squares a day, eat ten meals. Rich farmer. Log cabin owner. Mm. I don't know if I really like any of these. I can be a reaper. Who doesn't like reapers? Novice mine conqueror. <sighs> the powerful. <laughs> Fishing. Hmm. Big, big, big fish fisher? Catch the largest possible fish? Really? Sure, whatever. The hand that waters? Bruh, <laughs> these are terrible. Like, you've owed the full bag holder? I'm down. Communication. Next door stranger. Head honcho. <laughs> Fungi finder? What? I didn't see how we unlock it, but anyways, okay, what was it? Was it... Was it farm life? Keeper of the full bag, there we go. 
Let's grab... For now, we can just put all of this stuff back in here, actually. Oh, that's right. The whole reason I was doing this, because I wanted to put down the... Whatchamacallit? The mayonnaise maker. Duh. Because I figured it should probably go, like, over here by it. Oh, I can't put it there? That's annoying. Well, whatever. I can put it, like... Do I want to put it behind it? I kind of don't like the idea of putting it behind it. I don't know what I'm going to put back there, though, if anything. Fuck it, I'm putting it behind it. Space. Make me some mayonnaise. <laughs> I hate it. I, I seriously hate it. Okay. Oh, shit. I should put our fodder in there, too. So the chicken has something to eat on rainy days. I wonder if egg incubation is a thing. It'd be nice to get more chickens without having to pay for them. Alright, so what do we want to do today? The... We can check the community board, see if there's anything we can do there. And then, like, all of the shops I care about are closed. If we see the girl that we're trying to woo, one of them, we can give them some, some stuff. And there's mommy, she's here. Ooh. Patricia, hi. Will you install a mod to allow you to cook meth? I don't think they have that available for the PS5. <laughs> Maybe on the PC version. Do you like raw white opal? Thank you for the gift. She didn't seem like particularly happy about that. Does that mean she didn't like it? I mean, it's going up. But then, like, so's Angela, and we've given her, like, nothing. But so Well, we might have given her a birthday present, but... I don't even remember who the other person was that we were thinking of, maybe. Was it Blair? Because food? It's probably Blair because of food. Oh wait, community board. Might as well check that out, we're close. Flexible grass. We do actually have that. What were you gonna give me for it? Is it worth going down there? Um, it's $400, like, yeah. It's probably worth going and finding some grass for $400. Oh. Hello, people. <laughs> oh wait, is that the first time we've met him? There's another new person for us then. It's the flower shop. Don't care about the flower mm. shop. I wonder if this is one of those games where friendships decay, like if you don't talk to people for a bit. Or if you just always stay friends with people. Oh, we need to stop at the salon! To get our stuff that we had made. Okay, did you like it though? I'm really struggling to know if people like these gifts we're giving them or not. It'd be really nice, like, they need to take more of a page out of Sturdy Valley, man, and have the page where it's like, it shows what they like and dislike and whatnot after you give it to them once. You do have to still give it to them for it to show that info, but... Fitting room. Okay, is that here? Hat. Mineral Town cap. And... Oh, but this one's, like, so classic to me, man. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I like it. The red, like, scarf at- Oh, wait. Oh, shit. I must have, like, hit back instead of confirm. The red whatever you want to call it that he's wearing, though. It's just classic. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I kind of hate it. I'm not gonna- I don't know. It's just, like- I guess I'd just grown used to, like, how he looked before, so, like... 
now having him look like this is just out of place. Take it easy, Chocobo. Look like a real farmer now? Yeah, I guess. I don't actually, like, hate it. It's just not quite what I was expecting either, I don't think. Like, ooh. Our mana should almost be done. Come on, give. Ingredient made from processed eggs. Can we... We can probably use it for cooking, but how much does it sell for? 130. Definitely more than an egg on its own. But with how long it takes to process things, I don't think we're going to be doing processing like everything into mayonnaise or... I, I imagine eventually we'll get the ability to make like cheese and stuff too. You know what? Instead of mining mining, we should probably start clearing the other land. We were supposed to be getting flexible grass anyways for that $400. We have everything we need to be doing. Or no, I guess we need the bucket. Bucket. Hopefully we can make enough money that tomorrow we can get our... If I remember, because this is probably the last night for tonight. But I want to get the pet and the two tool upgrades next time I play. Oh, I'm facing the wrong direction. Oh well. You can't just sickle the tree down. Textile maker! By processing threads into cloth. Ah, okay. So that's how we get cloth. I thought we would have had to have like sheep to get cloth, but nope, guess not. The rock salt definitely respawns. That's cool. I feel like just keeping the farms multiple is going to be a full-time job until we get it, like, covered in paths and stuff. Once it's covered in paths or whatever, it should be easy, because I, I assume things won't regrow on top of paths. Hello, cow. Don't mind me. I'm just clearing all this grass that you may or may not have been wanting to eat. I think as we level up our skills with different tools, it gets easier for us to... Like, it uses less energy per swing or whatever, too. So it's still worth, like, working on these things, even without getting an actual upgrade. This will probably be our last tree for the day. Yeah. Any other foraging, though? What does this need to repair? Solid logs, clay... Flexible... How many solid logs? A lot. Uh, we should probably wait until we get the upgraded thing. Axe. Before we uh, do that. With that said, though... I don't know, it'd be nice to start getting mushrooms early. Mm -mm. Solid lumber, so that's 50, or no, 30 logs. Plus 50 iron ore and 50 grass, that's going to be pretty pricey. Make however many you can out of what we have. Put the rest in here. Play. I don't remember how much flexible grass we needed. Let's just take 10. Put the log in there. We'll see how much these sell for. But they might just end up being gifts. 30 and 40, they're gonna be gifts. Oyster we can use for food, maybe? I'm pretty sure we sold one, but I'll sell another one. Sugarcane, as far as I know, there's no use for that yet, food-wise, or peppercorn, as far as I'm aware. I could be missing something, but whatever. It's year one, we're still learning the game. It's not going to be optimized play at all. Oh. 
another event? Ah, sure, I'm glad you're here. I have a request, you see. You're the perfect farmer for the job. Now, I want you to keep this strictly between us, but recently we've been having sort of a, well, a ghost problem. Mayor, ghosts aren't real. Obviously, I don't believe ghosts are real either. That's uh, simply what the townsfolk have been saying. Now, let's get down to business. There are currently four incidents that have plagued our town, and hold it right there. Hello, children. You gotta let us help solve the mysteries. Goodness, no. We couldn't possibly get children involved. Well, if we can't solve them together, I guess we'll just have to spend our free time telling all the tourists about it, huh, Mikey? Yeah, we'll be all... Ooh, this town's haunted. It's totally cursed. Jesus Christ. Children are blackmailing the mayor. A cryptic circle that appeared in the park. Strange fish person spotted on our beach. So, park, beach, gall's rest... Um, okay. Well, this isn't quite what I planned on doing right now, but sure. I guess we're ghost hunting. Wait, are you like... Why was she running away? Was she scared? Boy, am I glad to see you. The mayor told me to keep it under wraps, but I can't handle that kind of pressure by myself. I gotta tell someone. I saw it. I saw that weird circle. It's ga gone now, but you gotta believe me. There was a circle here. It's like some freaky geometric thing. No need to fear, citizen brother. Ace Detective, Cindy and Mike, you're here. Oh my god. Strange geometric pattern appeared. Um... Someone playing a prank? Question mark? Or some kind of natural phenomenon. Someone playing a prank. That thing was way too elaborate for a prank. Something incredible is going on here. Aliens drew it? Yeah, that's it. It's aliens. Uh, <laughs> they want to taste test some yogurt and milk. Okay. And before it's actually aliens. That'd be great. Okay, there's now more stuff on the bulletin board. That's fine. How is this gonna solve the circle? I don't know, man. Cindy's request? Yogurt. Well, I don't... I can't make yogurt yet, so... I think it's gonna be a bit before I'm able to give you yogurt. Wait, what was the other thing? I'll just quit. Okay. Because they think aliens testing or like experimenting on the animals means that the milk will taste different. So do we just go like here? Can we go outside? How do we get into their farm? Hello people. This has to be the farm they're talking about, right? I don't think there's any other farm anywhere, like, with cows and stuff. Unless, am I missing something? Are there, like, cows up here somewhere? I don't think so. Hello. You're hungry? Go get some food. I don't know. Nothing here. I mean... They also mentioned... The shore and Gaul's Rest and whatnot. Unless... Would it be the random, like, cow outside my farm that they're talking about? How else do you get to the farm area? Who are you? Are you a tourist? You're a tourist. Nice AI over there. Them two people just walking straight into each other. Love it. They're not talking about what will be my cow, right? That wouldn't make any sense. Also... I'm gonna gift these to people. Let's get them out of the way so I don't accidentally sell them or something. 
No? Okay. Not talking about this one. I don't know. I don't know how to do the next part of the mystery. Maybe it has to be a day that they're actually open. Ooh, I didn't see you. Hello, blood clam. That was a blood clam, anyways. <clears throat> it doesn't sound too tasty. I guess we can sell it this time, though. 40 gold, whatever. The full right? I'm gonna keep the cheap shit for potential food making. Oh, sage? That's a food thing? Have we sold it before? I'm gonna sell it. Just in case. Any new food we can make? Is there anything I should be keeping specifically? Eggs, tomatoes... I guess we should keep some eggs. We need rice eventually. Like beans and stuff that we haven't gotten yet. What is this? Details, there we go. Tea, okay. What are you? Sage and tea. Oh. Okay, yeah, so we definitely want to keep some sage. I'm gonna sell this one, just because I can't remember if we sold it before or not, but... After that, we'll keep the rest of them that we get. For foods. If the food's any good. I'm gonna end up having to make, like, a list or something of all the things to keep versus the things to get rid of. I still don't know what to do about the mystery, though. I want to solve it, but, like, how am I supposed to solve a mystery when I don't know where to go? It looks like you should be able to go out over here. But if you go in here, right, there's no door anywhere. Right? Like, I'm not missing a random door. No, so... How do they get into their own farming area? Do they just like hop the fence and that's just a shed? Uh, I don't know. Hello, Mayor's kid. we use any of the playground equipment? No, that's rude. I want to slide down the slide or swing on the swing. I guess it's just bedtime then. We could like buy some food and do a little bit of fishing, but I don't think it's worth it. We'd end up spending more money on the, whatchamacallit, than on the food than we would make from the fish. Maybe if I grab the six of these and these, maybe then I'll remember shit to actually like go upgrade the stuff. Do we have ore? We have one ore. Okay. Do we have iron ore? Or silver rather. Go ahead and make our first silver bar. And then sell that. Okay, bedtime. Both in game and IRL. It is time, guys. Thank you for coming and hanging, coming and hanging out while we played some more Pioneers all the town. I appreciate you all. Tomorrow we should be playing Dark Cloud, uh, starting around 5:30 ish. And then after that, uh, Baldur's Gate on Thursday, and then I don't know whether it'll be this or more Dark Cloud. Who knows, man? To be determined. As always, I just want to see like if any of my crops have grown today or anything. It's something I always do in these games. Just take a look around real quick. Nothing. 
whole lot of nothing. Some trees to chop down that are popping up. These, like, these regular trees grow quick, man. So much quicker than the fruit trees grow. Which is just kind of rude, honestly. But anyways, yeah, no. Thank you, guys. Um, have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other, y'all. Bye! <laughs>